Hello everyone. Today we will walk you through how to set up voice streaming on Exotel or how to use Exotel streaming services for bi-directional and unidirectional voice streaming. Bi-directional streaming is ideal for setting up your bots, while unidirectional streaming is suited for setting up agent assist use cases or for live CQA quality analysis for your agents or supervisors. We have a range of support articles that your developers can refer to understand how to set up voice streaming. These provide an end-to-end -end guide on defining different events, choosing the right app, and configuring the flow. To get started, we'll go to the Quick Start Guide. Here, we have different account setups. For instance, if you need to adhere to Indian compliance laws, you should use the Mumbai Vino setup. If you're looking for a straightforward streaming setup without any IP PSTN intermixing, then the Singapore setup is your best bet. We'll start with the Mumbai Vino setup. Here, we'll need to provide our details, select our region, in this case India, and choose our preferred calling method. It could be landline, mobile, or browser calling. If you want your agents to take calls on IP, you can use this setup. Alternatively, if you want to route calls to a contact center or any other setup, you can use browser calling which will automatically provide an IP PSTN intermixing compliant account. Next, we'll select voice streaming. Choose relevant industry or services and click on Start My Account. After starting the account, you'll be asked to verify it by giving a missed call to a specified number. Once verified, your number will be activated, allowing you to take incoming calls and make outgoing calls through this account sandbox number. In case number is not available to test, reach out to helloeexotel.com. To understand how to set up the system, the first step is to click on the App Bazaar. There's a flow already available that you can edit or you can create a new and give a preferred name. Here, we will give VoiceBot Setup Demo. Upon doing this, a list of applets, VoiceBot applets, and other applets will appear. These voice applets can be used to set up our flow. In this case, we click on VoiceBot. Applet and drag and drop in VoiceBot, we can input our endpoint or WebSocket URL, which will manage our VoiceBot. If we wish to record this call, that is an option. If, for example, we want some information post-call, we can directly put pass-through get URL in pass-through applet. In pass-through applet, we can provide an endpoint that can capture the information post-call and give us the status of the streaming stream ID and the relevant information. For more information on streaming, refer to the support article previously shown, which explains how to use pass-through for streaming. We can make pass-through sync or async, depending on our needs. If we want to define a next flow where the call should go to any agent, we can do so. In this case, whenever we disconnect our WebSocket endpoint, the flow will automatically fall on pass-through. Here we can define our next logic. For instance, we might want to use our connect applet to route the call to a specific agent or a group of agents. You can also route this call to a trunk for another contact center where you can simply select an option and define a trunk ID. If your agents are only here, you can define this. Alternatively, you can define something dynamically. You can use programmable connect to define it as well. This is how you set up the flow. Once you set up the flow, you can see your applet and flow here. The next step is to go to Exaphone. In Exaphone, you will see a bunch of virtual numbers. You can simply select the flow that you have created. As soon as you select the flow, you can call this particular number and the flow will get executed. The call will go to the VoiceBot app, VoiceBot WebSocket, and you can see how your VoiceBot is performing. After the call, you will get the pass through. You are creating a fresh account or a fresh setup. The first step is to come to the new Exaphone. Select a circle and assign a number accordingly. You will be prompted to submit your KYC documents. Just click on Submit Your KYC and provide the necessary documents. Once these documents are approved, you'll receive a specific circle number for IP PSTN setup. And in the case of Singapore stamp or standard calling, we have 11 circles available. You can provide KYC for any circle and receive a virtual number for that specific circle. Once your KYC is approved, you'll be assigned a virtual number for testing calls. We also provide a sandbox number in our standard accounts, which you can use to test it out. So, get started. Begin making calls as soon as your KYC are approved. Thank you.